Hey, hey, my little weirdos. I hope you're having a blessed day. Today we're going to downtown Blairsville and Meeks Park in Blairsville, Georgia um, for a little gallivant. But first, our scripture. Isaiah 60 and 1. Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of Yahweh is risen upon thee. Amen. Okay, friends, we're at downtown Blairsville, Georgia. I'm parking at the city hall. Just leaving my car over here and I'm gonna walk around the town square and let's just see what we see, y'all. I'm also getting my steps in. We're gonna go here in Meeks Park. And I don't really have a step goal, but I'm hoping that we do better than I did last time when we went to the Clayton downtown. I just didn't have it in me that day. I didn't, I only went to downtown Clayton and around the square. I didn't go any extra places to make sure I got a step count in. Pretty landscaping. Okay, across the street we have Rebecca's Off the Square and a Creative Voice Boutique. Vintage Goods, the Emporium. And I kind of feel like I want to cross because I want to go, um, clockwise on my little tour so it's really busy today it's a Friday so we'll see if I get across I slid up run Leela people are sweet they they'll let you cross sometimes soaps and candles and creams and more Smoky Mountain Handmade Candles. We're kind of off an offshoot of the square so far. And that's got to be the courthouse. Grits and Tackle Realty and Cuddle and Grow Babies and Children's Shop. Alright, let's get on the square here and go clockwise and see what we see. And if I decide to go into a shop, that'll be a separate video. The Farmer's Daughter. Novelty Shop Treasures and Keepsakes. I already want to go in there. So home decor, organic skincare, and nostalgia candles. Blairsville, Georgia. We're open, come on me, with the farmer's dog. So it's not a really huge square, but that's okay. What's that saying? Big things come in small packages. Okay, this is the bookstore. They have a bookstore on the square. It's called book bound where your journey begins. Hemlock Trading Company, Gourmet Provisions. Oh, they got a Lake Chateau. Let's me say hi. That was weird. I don't see anyone. Okay. I like that. They have the Appalachian Trail map. Life needs more starry nights and crackling fires. Amen. I like that. I have to copycat some of this stuff. They have the little sign where the mama bear, the papa bear, and the baby bear would come and take your picture together. Welcome to our cabin. Take a nap, make memories, breathe the fresh air, eat s'mores, read a book, count the stars, build a campfire, Take long walks, relax and unwind. I will do all of the above. Do y'all want me to do your picture for you? I would. Let me put my glasses on because I'm blind. It's just the way button. Do you want it this way or this way? Up and down. Okay. 
Tell me when y'all ready. Thumbs up. I'm going to do about three, okay? That was one, two, three. Uh-huh. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You. You're welcome, honey. Okay, that was Hemlock Trading Company. Village Square Mall. So that's like a whole mall in there. Custom t-shirts and graphic design. Cool. If I ever get t-shirts made for my channel, I know where to come. Old shoe, soft, repair, and more. So probably all of these businesses are in that mall. Okay, here's another section of off. They have a wig shop. Sort of off the square. Southern style salon and massage. I bet that's all in one business. Okay, let's keep going clockwise on the square. We'll keep, I'll get distracted and squirrel myself over there in the wig shop. Megatone Music, Blairsville, Georgia. So all your music supplies. Just be happy. Cabin Coffee Company. Roasted coffee. So this is your little corner coffee shop here. Really has pretty decor. Take a step back in time, Blairsville and Union County. Cabin Coffee and Co. This square is a little bit odd. Like it goes there. And then this is another kind of side street of it. And look at the cars. I'm a little bit afraid to cross, but I need to. Jesus, go with me. Thank you. That's how life is. Sometimes you're afraid to do something, but you just got to. It's a really beautiful day. Feels like pre-fall. Okay, this is some upcoming stuff. Um, this is what I'm talking about, these little mountain towns that I love so much, is there is always in one of these towns something planned. If you want to get out of the house, you're gonna find something. They got an outdoor market on, that's in April. Okay, they got a Labor Day weekend mountain museum. They have an event. They have a boo bash at Meeks Park, which we're gonna go there and walk, but they uh, have a, some kind of bash they're having there and a sorghum festival the second and third weekends in October. So we need to do that. What are they making there, liquor? NGB now hiring, what is that? I have no idea. That feels like you'd just be going up on somebody's front porch. That looks like an old house that got converted into a business. You know, that happens. Okay, on this side of the square, we have an insurance agency, sunflowers, gifts, linens, and antiques on the square, and Aikens and Davenport PC, that's an attorney. We're gonna go over there and walk around the actual courthouse. They have some kind of cloth there that looks interesting to me. We're gonna go look at that. I would say Blairsville really is a small town, but it's bigger than the town that I'm near that I don't live in. I don't even live in a town. I live on the outskirts of a tiny, two tiny towns. Both are equally dis in distance from me. This is the sunflower shop, pretty. There's a big old puppy dog laying there. Hi, baby. Can you say hi? What have you got? Oh, is it your wooby? It's your little lamb. Hi, darling. Hi, you are awesome. Hello. Can I see your toy? Hello. Hi, what's the puppy's name? Emmy. Emmy. Oh, I got my glasses on and didn't say. 
She brought her toy to show me. Are you going to play toys with me? You are pretty, Emmy. Made my day. Man, it is crazy busy. Look at all this traffic. I guess I have the right of way. I don't know if I trust it. Papa's Pizza to go. Plaza. So all of these little like little alley streets, side streets, you can go down and there's small businesses here and there, peppered in there. Okay, so this is kind of an offshoot. Let's just do it. Pizza to go. We're getting these steps in. This just is sort of different. That's why I love small towns. You just never know. Ladies General Apparel, Sharon's Fashions. Ooh, tempting. 50% off summer clothes. That's a cute purse. There, it looks like a little flower. Oh, I can't walk by it without looking at purses. Because he lives, amen. He lives, hallelujah. The journey, my friends, not the destination. The gathering space, meeting, celebrations, and events. Hebrews 10.25 So I don't know what they do. Maybe parties, a uh, little space to rent to have a part get together. Maybe have a birthday party. They have Sila oh, hair salon. That Sila was something the Lord gave me last year. Rest in Him. And every time I see that, I get a praise in my heart. Oh, the word Sila. Just something between me and the Lord. But I'll share that little little tidbit with you. And Ambry's Attic Vintage Antiques Unique. Sunburst with the flowers. It's pretty. I like vintage decor type of stuff. I love that planter. I love it. Isn't that pretty? That's probably one of those things that's not for sale. Or we're not going over there on the hotel side. I have no need to go to a hotel. Look at this. With the uh, bird bird houses and the little wind. It's not a chime, a wind. What is that? A wind ornament? It's a sunflower shape. But what's that called? Chara, you are enough, ever enough, always enough. Chara, more than enough, always enough. Okay, this was this side. Sharon's Fashions, Papa's Pizza, the Gathering Place. I like that. The hotel has a God Bless America sign, and God bless you too. The reason we celebrate is Jesus. Okay, this hotel has like a little eight a gardens, like a garden sitting place. That's nice for probably for their guest. And they have a cross. He will give his angels charge over thee, believe. I almost wonder, do they have a church? guess not they just love the Lord I, some brothers and sisters there representing I love it Brown Haven homes this is a builder here in the North Georgia mountains if you are interested in having a home built I do believe they might do you a good job look at that 
That's so pretty. I want to go over there to the courthouse and just to look at that clock, if nothing else. But isn't that pretty? The front of the courthouse, Union County Courthouse, Historical Society. I want to go over there and look at that clock. Let's go, let's get a, all the way around the square one time and then we'll come back and go look at the clock. Greetings from Blairsville, Georgia. Sorry, sorry. Italian Life Cafe. Michelle's, Michelle, Michael Lee's, Michelle's. Okay, that'll be a place to come sometime. From me to you, looks like a gift shop. That's pretty, huh? Something must have happened to their window. And this is the wine shop. The wine shop, craft beer, cigars, I smell pizza. The wine shop for me to you. I may get my steps in and still get me a slice of pizza. That's all right. Look at these pretty sunflowers. The Cellar Italian Life Cafe. So I imagine that the cellar is this place and the Italian Life Cafe is the one. But look at the curb appeal that's what I call it you got the place for seating they have a lot of downtown events so they've got to make room for everybody to sit, come and sit and enjoy historic diner since 1931 hole in the wall I've never been there but I need to since it's like historic and all that I need to come and visit close until the 15th close for remodel okay Logan Turnpike Mill, Blairsville, Georgia. I wonder what it is. Looks like a gift shop. We have hope. I woke up with a song in my heart this morning. If you watch me, you know that I, that happens to me and it makes me happy. And it was Jaira. And I just have the first little, or just the little tune. And it just keeps going in my heart, in my mind. And I got a big old smile on my face and I'm happy. How do you get across? We're going across to see this clock. I might have to walk in their grass. Crazy busy traffic. Okay, let's get around here and see this clock. course I'm in the grass that's not what they meant for me to be doing I should have stayed on the red brick, brick road clock 
clock and bell from Old Courthouse Tower, Union County City, Blairsville. This is the original clock and bell mechanism from the historic 1899 courthouse. It was installed in the tower of the historic Union County Courthouse soon after the brick and granite structure was built in 1899. According to the records, Howard Watch and Clock Company makers of tower clock was installed in 1900. A two-ton brass geared mechanism was configured differently when it was housed in tower. The clock had four faces and was set high up in the tower so it could be seen from afar in many directions. It rang every hour throughout the day and served as a public alarm and rung manually by a pulled rope. In the early days it was operated by 100 pound weights and had to be raised every manually every 24 hours. In the 1950s it was electrified to save human toll of having to raise heavy weights each day. In 75, the JCs began a restoration of the old clockworks as a bicentennial project. And it's been, it was relocated here in 2003. They raised money and people did memorial bricks to probably pay fund for this to be done. That's not uncommon in the South. Everybody chips in. and then they'll give a memorial to their family members. Like a walk, a sidewalk memorial. Hello. This is the Union County Historical Society Museum Center. got to go and get some more steps in. Let's see how many steps we are. We have done all the way around. And I'm at 2,600 steps. I'm still going to Meeks Park, I think. Look at the clouds. Oh, there's a puppy. Ooh, I am burning up. Okay, I didn't tour any of these little shops. That's gonna be another time. I've gotta get it moving. I still gotta go grocery shopping at Aldi. And I'm going to go to Meeks Park and do a little walk. I really have no idea what time it even is. Logan Turnpike Mill, Grits and More Store. Interesting.
funny thing is. We're at the second location to get our steps. We're at $29.94. This is like a paddling uh, because you see the paddler up there on the sign. So we got that. And I, of course, I'm not prepared. I didn't look up this park to see what all my options were. It was just kind of a, a last minute impromptu thing because I wanted to go to Aldi's. I'm like, well, I'm going to get my steps in when I go over and get the most out of every drive and trip and gas mileage and all these prices and all so forth and so on, y'all. I'm trying to just be a good steward. I don't know which direction to even go. No pets. I don't know what it is about around here in North Georgia, that's one thing. You see a lot of no pets welcome signs. I don't know if they've had some kind of incident or what's up, but I just don't think that's not cool. I don't like it. There's a big old artistic fish. Fishy fish and he moves. Look at him with the wind. Like a weather vane. All right, we're going left. Like I said, I have no idea, but there's a creek right out there. I think that's Nodley River, if I'm not mistaken. they got a play area for kids down here and picnic tables. Great place to bring your family. Get out of the house, get some air, get some exercise. probably went the wrong way because all I'm seeing that way is kind of like a parking lot. There's benches to sit and I wonder if you can fish in this. I know you can canoe and it looks like you got a lot of different little put-ins. You could put your canoe in and just park your car. Somebody's fishing right there. Manufacturer recommends ages 14 and older. I wonder if that's a gym. That's a gym. Oh, it's got an elliptical. We're going to walk over there and look and see it all that. Outdoor gym. I like that. I thought it was like one of those little outdoor for kids gyms. He's fly fishing. That's what it looks like. Hi. Are you catching trout in there? No, no. I was just practicing. Oh. What kind of fish is in there? Oh, well, they're bass. Bass. Hand fit, like, you know, little bluegill and stuff. But okay. There's some stripers that come out in here. and. Uh, okay. Yeah, some, some guys have caught some big stripers. There's a lot of carp, too. Okay. But, Interesting. Yeah, this is just a little... A little toy I got. I was just messing around. That's a toy? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's your toy, like a man toy? Yeah, man toy. I got you. He left. I hope I didn't make him think I was going to tell on him if he wasn't supposed to be doing that. I'm not a snitch. I see somebody up there running. Maybe this is just a loop. Let's get out of the way. Well. There's the children's. I really need to get my eyes checked. <laughs> There's the children's gym, and it's kind of fenced in, so that's nice. And then that's the, the grown folks gym over there. I'm gonna get on one of those little uh, gazelle elliptical type of things. I'd like to build something like that 
or just a small not it don't have to be anything extravagant like that when i get my place built there's an owl i think it's an owl or is that a hawk what kind of bird is that wonder if he's hunting. Are you hunting, buddy? Hi, buddy. Is he old? What kind of bird is that? Hi, bud. Is that a hawk? It looks like a hawk. Go on, move along, lady. You got my picture. I wonder what he's like. Is he stalking? It could, it's probably something he's hunting right in here. See anything? So there is fishing. Walking trails. Maybe. So they got like little abstract art. There's one right over there. And they move kind of like with the wind. That's kind of neat. Places under surveillance. You're looking at me, and I'm looking at you. We're looking at each other. water very still water well that would definitely be a place to put in your canoe right there there's like a landing kayak and canoe steps down
the water must be low because look, I bet it usually comes up a lot higher than what it is. The water level's down. I don't understand that unless they've lowered the dam or something because that is all it has done is rain here. Somebody's got his pole. He's texting, but he's fishing. Catching anything? Been here long. What in the world? Yeah, They're just hanging out with you. Oh. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother you. You're okay. Take your little nap. got an incline on that one and I do believe that one loops because I saw a lady over there on that little fork right there so I'm gonna go this way first yeah I see a lady walking so I see the rivers picked up here it's moving a little bit Really, the stream is really running on this end. That's very interesting. The water mill, the location of it is kind of puzzling. Maybe it's just an example of what a water mill would be, like if it was on this stream. And it's got like a, that would be like a grain. So you, you would use the meal to um, squish the grain. I know that's not the whole <laughs> technological process. But that's what is springing to mind right now. Tate Grist Mill. Ridge top trail with difficult slope. Butternut Creek Loop, gentle slope, 0.3 miles to Bruce Ridge. All right. We're going this way first because that's what I see. It. And then we'll see when I come back, when I loop it, how I feel. 
want to get that burn in. That's really moving. Can you imagine going down that on a kayak or a canoe? Sorghum Festival. We saw an advertisement for that on my um, when I was touring the square. That's coming up soon. They got the whole backyard barbecue set up back there. Huh. Concession stand and so forth. This would be a good place just to come and sit and relax. Get out of the house. Bring a book. Get your steps in. Read. Spend the day. By the creek. Get in there and wade. There's kind of through the trees there. There's that creek that's running. River Creek. Some good fishing spots out here. That's the guy over there by the ducks. We just passed him. See fish biting right here. I saw him. Red oak. Quite a few runners on the trail. This is the other side of where they hold the festival. Looks like they have a concert area. Definitely a concert area. Bleachers. up here. Oh. Squirrel.
there's probably tons. This is a really big park. There's probably tons of walking trails. There's lighting too. So you could do the trails at night. Got a rock in my shoe. Okay, I got him out. More than one. Get away from me. Oh, I gotta stop and breathe. If you need a sip of water, take you one. Oh, I'm halfway up the hill too. Look, see the incline? And it forks that away. I came in from another side of the park, so obviously I gotta go back there because that's where my car is. I'm getting pretty warm. It's not hot out here, but I'm getting pretty warm from movement. Okay, there's the main highway out there. But I always see and let me know that there was a park here that I've been wanting to come and go exercise in and enjoy. I came from another direction because I was downtown touring. I don't know, do I go that way? Or that way? Will it go around? Let's just try it. It's a good time to find out. old trees in here. Big ones. Post oak. Must be the tree type. Oh, there's... Look at that. There's an Indian... We're at 5,000 steps already. Cool things. I don't know where this loop goes. Hope it goes that way because that's where I need to go. Yeah, it does. I can tell.
there's a main highway straight up there like we're down under like the side of a, a ravine the bottom of it very natural park area ball field. Let's play ball. Takes me back to childhood. I used to play softball. I was a pretty good first baseman and third base woman rather. Not a man, a woman. We come out correctly, we're gonna come out by that grist mill that we passed, hopefully. Nothing like going somewhere for the first time and getting lost. There's a man and his little son running. His son's winning. <laughs> He's probably excited to go down here to this play area. They had lost the race. Yeah, he just was excited to go to that playground. Little fella. and feeling lost. Another ball field. This looks nothing like what I think it should look like. We'll get 15,000 steps just because I'm lost to get back to the car. I almost want to ask somebody.
I wish there was some kind of map of the park. Oh well. Ma'am, do you know what, um... I guess it was impromptu, like I want to get my steps, and and I did, and I kind of got turned around. Oh, well. I've done that. If you, if you went back in the woods, it is a long trail, but uh -huh. if you don't go across the bridge, then you go, you follow the little path along the river, and it'll take you back to that little parking lot. Okay. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm like, it's not that complicated, but it's you know? Not how it goes. Yeah. yeah. So smart yeah. Okay, it's not that I don't want to get to a 10K. I'm just wanting to go to Aldi's <laughs> really badly. I'm looking forward to Aldi's. They got a batting cage there. That would be fun. If it had the machine, that would be fun. Okay. All right, we'll see if we follow good directions. Y'all will be yelling at me. No, she said do this and you're doing that. I'm going to cut through and get off this road, though. She just said stay on that little path right there and don't go across that bridge. So, I remember that much. I'm sad that you can't bring a dog in this park. Like, if you, I don't have a dog right now, but eventually want to get another dog. And, you know, that will be like me equip. I know a dog is not the same as your toddler and you love your baby. And I've raised my babies, I know. Um, but after your children leave the nest, your, your pets are your babies too, okay? Bruce Bridge. I'm so hot right now, I could just get down there in that creek down there that's running. See it? I just get down there. This looks like this is a... They got meters down here like you could put your RV down here. Or maybe they used to rent them. I don't know, but it's spots like you could put an RV. That's a road. I wonder if I should go... We're going to get 20k because I just can't follow directions. Let's go down here and look at this river. It's pretty. How nice. There's another path on the other side of the river. So we're on the opposite side of the ball field that we just looped.
Do not throw rocks in the creek. There's a black walnut tree where that squirrel's climbing. I bet I could just get in the creek and go back to the car if I wanted to do that. Wade in the creek all the way down. eating somebody put some food out for him I bet that gentleman did feeding the ducks sergeant Bobby Franklin killed in action in Iraq mm -mm. he's feeding the critters And the squirrels. Oh, that's so generous. Oh, I'm sorry. They was eating and I interrupted them. I'm sorry. Oh, look at all the ducks. Look at here. There's a blue bird, a red bird. I'm trying to be so still so they won't I won't trigger them to fly away, but I think they're all squabbling over it. Who gets to dine first? comes these two. They're going to get their meal on. Dinner served. Wait for me. Wait for me. so many little ducks in here. This time I'm not exaggerating when I say there is a hundred. There really are a lot. Just in this area there's at least 25. And then they go all the way. Look at this. They're just all chilling over there on the other bank. Over there the opposite bank there's it's loaded with them. Okay, I think I have my bearings on where I am. That was the, like the little concert area. And there is a map, and we're looking at it right now. I see it.
Well, that one's kind of uh, seen better days. We'll see if we can get a better example on this other side. Of course, I can go home and look online. This is a big park. I'm here. The outdoor exercise area, that's where I'm parked there. The grist mill is pretty close to me. And I'm going back this way. So that's where we're headed. But this park is humongous. And the different loops, how many connectors and stuff they have. All right, let's get back on track. Little kids out there waiting, having a good old time. Takes me back to when my baby was little. Okay, we're not doing the extra one and a half ridge top because I'm just chomping at the bit to go to um, Aldi guys. So we're nearly at 7,000 steps, so I'm happy. This won't be the only time I come here and walk. It's a nice park.
There's three ducks in a row out there swimming together. Tons of ducks in this park. There's these two. They've moved off the roadway. They're still taking their little siesta. Hi, little buddies. Did you catch anything yet? Two of them. All right. Are you having it for dinner? No. Not carp. Not carp. Okay. Did I do the wrong thing by speaking when they're fishing? Like I should leave them quiet. For some reason, I'm thinking that my grandpa would tell me to. And we're back to the car almost. There's the other abstract art thing. And we're back to Mr. Fish. Nemo! Oh, I did say, before we leave, we're going to go look at this gym, and we're doing it. i got to keep my word to my friends. has a picnic table, benches to sit on. And then we'll see if we can figure out what each thing does. Like, what is this one? Okay, it has no children under 14. 
four person leg press. So you gotta have four people to be able to do the leg press. Teens and adults function. Strengthens leg muscles and abdominals. Huh, and that's what the motion you do. Sit on each seat with legs and brace against the foot pad. Push the body away from the foot rest. Hold and return to start position. Do not lock knees. And that's got the foot rest on the seat. So four people at once can do it, and I don't think that it impacts any person. Like they're not helping or hurting you by doing that. Okay, this one looks like a row. Rowing machine, it is. Strengthens back, shoulders, arm muscles, abdominals, improves cardiovascular endurance. Rowing machine again. So they have two of them. Abs dip station, pendulum. Waist stretch, leg lift, and dip station. Okay. This has an extensive gym. You, If you can't go to the gym, and even if you could, if you could be outside doing this, why not? Strengthens calves. It's a stationary bike. There's two of them here together. So you could always bring your buddy if you, if you wanted to bring a buddy. Here's the elliptical. Outdoor ellipticals. I've got two of them. The climber. Stair climber. Quadriceps, hamstrings, calves, glutes, abs, and forearms. Wheelchair, wheelchair accessible hand cycle. That's awesome for the handicapped. Tai Chi spinners. Hmm. So it has a seat and a standing motion. Four-person twisting station. Stretches the upper body. Sit on the seat all the way against the backrest. Or stand on the circular plate and grip these handrails. And then turn right to left. You just do a stretch motion. Okay. Those are the gazelle. What I call the gazelle. Reminds me of the Gazelle Air Walker. Strengthens leg muscles, improves cardiovascular endurance. I'm getting on that for five minutes. Did I say five? Maybe one. Let's take a let's walk it back and say one minute. And if I do five, I do five. And this is like a shoulder press. Chest press. And you can, this side is wheelchair accessible. A lot of this gym is wheelchair and handicap accessible. That's awesome. So there's two of those. We'll see if you can see me. I'm going to do uh, the, what I call the gazelle. They're calling it an air walker. Fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, 
Yay. 59 and 60. That's surely a minute. All right, another thing I like to do on these is I like to turn. And this is more like a stretch kind of a thing. It's probably not recommended. But hopefully I don't stretch my hip too much. And just do a few and then turn and do the opposite. And just be careful, don't fall off and bust your snoot. I feel it in my hips, like the stretch. When I spread it apart, I feel a stretch. Do about 10 or so. And then I almost feel like I need to loosen back up and do a couple of these just to loosen. I felt it more doing the side side ones than I did the straight forward. I don't know how much exercise or how good it is for me, but it's better than sitting on the couch. All right, I got it now. I got to try out the elliptical. Very choppy feeling and bouncy and choppy. Uh, I'd rather be walking than use this thing. But I do like the uh, air walker. Simple elliptical. All right. We came, we saw, we played on the grown-up playground. I actually have worked up a little bit of a sweat, so I know this is good for me. It's a little bit stinky right here, like there's some dead fish right there. Ooh. Ooh, something stinks. Okay, my beautiful friends. Thank you for coming along, getting our steps in. We did the town square in Blairsville, Georgia, and a little park. I wouldn't say a little park. A good-sized park in, in Blairsville, Georgia called Meeks Park. And our total steps is 79.47. Now, I actually put my pedometer on when I was leaving the house, so all my little jumping out and running around, because I ran around Walmart, that counts and all my other things but so far i've gotten an 8k in today and i'm still going to two grocery stores so we might actually make um make it to a 10k for the day or maybe a little more all right y'all have a blessed day leela out